What's up, YouTubers? Welcome to another episode of Sanchez Scrapper TV. Today we're working on, yes, sir, the Silverado 2500. Yeah, look at the rotor. Look at this shit. Oh, shit. Why did this happen? Because my lazy ass didn't change them. And look how the brake pads. This is the old one. And this is the new one. Look at the difference. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't think I was lazy. It's just been a lot of work. And so uh, I didn't have time to get to him. Till yesterday when I had a, a heavy load that was unloading from one of my dumpsters. It started squeaking like, like hell. I'm like, oh shoot. It smelled like it was burning. There was nothing to break. It was just metal against metal. Look at it. Now, what normally people do, normally people, uh, is just change the rotor. Um, I won't leave it on. It still has enough. Um, little by little, oh, it'll go back to normal. But if, uh, if I was you, just change it. Get the new rotors. Screw it. We're gonna leave them on. All right. So we're taking the brakes from the rear of the truck. Now to get to the pin to these pins right here. Wow. This one right here. Yeah. The camera, please. Yeah. Thank you. You can't put a wrench right here or or anything because it's too narrow. The space is like narrow. Once you put the other bracket. It's like right here. So you have like two inches of space. So you have to take the whole frame out. Uh, two bolts, one one on the bottom, one on top, 18 millimeters. Uh, you're gonna need... Where are you? Where are you? She disappeared. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? She's hiding. She don't want to be seen no more. Why? Let's try it again. That's why. I'm using an impact gun, and then of course you have to use this sucker here. This is a. It's gonna be hard to see. A T55. Um, the first one I did on the other side, it actually chipped it, so I had to shave it down so I could use a little bit more of it. But the weird part is that only one comes out, and that one stays. So just find which one is the one that comes out. If you see it doesn't come out, just loosen up the other one. So now we put the new brackets inside. On both sides, top and bottom, and now we're gonna mount the brakes. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I did one side already. Uh, it's complicated. Let me see. Let me see if this helps. If it doesn't help, then we're fucked. No, we're fucked. Sorry about the balance. No minus view this video so you have to put the pistons back inside you have to squeeze them how you squeeze them there's so many ways you can squeeze them um, you can buy parts that bracket that goes here and squeezes them I always use a C clamp <laughs> and it always works like why don't you buy the part cuz I'm an old school guy and that's how old school people work so now I'm gonna put everything back in and uh, we'll get back. All right, so we, we got the brakes inside. The brake pads are inside, as you can see. New ones are in. Um, so you can see the new ones and the old ones. And uh, we tighten out the T55, which is this one right here. The other one slipped in, like I said, because it was actually there, it doesn't, doesn't, didn't come off. Uh, now we put it put in the 18 millimeter bolts one on top 
and one on the bottom. If I can see it. Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. these wrenches that had that uh oh that's loosened papa where you going papa it doesn't want to go in I'm turn it the opposite way there we go okay now we're going to do the top one same thing, same position. <laughs> yeah, we gotta tie it up. I'll do it. Give me a second, and then we'll tie up the other one. Okay, we got the impact on the back on the bottom one. one see how see what I mean how are you gonna put a t55 right here look there's no way you see there's no way there's no way fucking chevy look at that. just made me work more and of course uh a socket for here for 18 yeah you could put a prior ratchet but it's gonna be kind of tight so I'm just gonna use, use the wrench and tie up with the wrench. I'm gonna use my impact wrench. You're gonna say, what? There's not an impact wrench. Well, we're gonna impact it. We're gonna bang it, hold it here, and bang it. So that's our impact wrench. All right, that's tidy whitey. Now we're gonna use some bright cleaner. Bright cleaner. You can use any kind. It's just to clean the brakes. So any grease on your hands, Let's say you touch something with grease and you put it on your brake, I mean your, uh, your brake rotors, right? And then you want to brake, guess what? You're gonna slide. You're gonna go sliding, you ain't gonna stop. So it's always good to have this and spray it. Don't be scared. Never be scared of shit. When it dries up, it dries up. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. So the next step is put the tire back on. Well, guys, I hope this uh, video helped you out on changing the rotors, the brakes, and the, well, the rotors too. The rotors is the same thing. You take this bracket off, 18 millimeter bolts, top and bottom, and then you take these pins. You see this pin right here, and there's another, there's another one right here. Okay, right there. And this puppy boop, pops out. That, that's that's easy. That's how easy it is to change the rotor. Also, at the same time. So if this if this was uh, well, your truck and you were doing it and you saw that this happened, you say, okay, let me just get a rotor. I'm not gonna get a rotor because I'm not too worried about it. You know, people are gonna come comment on it. Oh, you're doing it wrong. Blah blah blah. Yeah, whatever, haters. You know, I like when haters put their their comments. It makes me laugh at them. I had this truck so far for about, uh, I'm going to say about almost nine years. Almost, yeah, nine years is my Silverado. My Silverado. And uh, I have done videos about it that I have done before in the past. And there was always the hater comments saying, oh, you did it wrong. You know what you're doing. And guess what? It's still running, Papa. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So keep on those, with those comments. You make me laugh. You should be a comedian instead. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Like I said, it's easy. Piece of cake. No problems. Of course, my jack. I always put the support it on the strut base. All right, guys. If you have if you have uh, uh, any um, comments, put it down. 
I like to listen to your comments. All right. Peace.